Good morning, I'm Earth Dr. Reese Halter, and you're listening to EarthCastSOS.com. On Thursday, May 13, scientists at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration announced an a priori, a first of a kind, a warm-blooded fish. Wowzer! There's 32,000 kinds of fish in the sea. Meet the opa, or moonfish, the first known warm-blooded fish. Basically, the opa single-handedly upended the general classification system that mammals and birds are warm-blooded and fish are cold-blooded. What up? Most fish have body temperatures that match the surrounding water temps. A small number of them can warm specific parts of their body like the incomparable bluefin tunas, great white sharks, short fin makos, poor beagles, threshers and salmon sharks, and a couple others. But none of these animals can heat their entire bodies. So while they hunt in deep cold waters, they gotta regularly surface and warm up. The opa has them beat. It can consistently keep its entire body nine degrees Fahrenheit warmer than its surrounding water temps. The opa has a warm brain. OMG! Its muscles are warm. Yeah, baby. And its heart is warm. It's a first of a kind. Yes! So what's all this mean? Well, being warm-blooded in a cold climate enables the opa to operate faster than the other sluggish moving creatures. This gives it a competitive advantage to eat its prey. So how does it do it to, to keep warm? The opa consistently flaps its fins, which in turn heats up its body and fuels its metabolism. It moves quicker, but it requires lots of food. And so the dance of survival for the opa has a faster tempo than most. The oceans are mysterious and full of new discoveries. Very cool. Please support the blueproject.xyz because they're making EarthCast SOS possible. I'm Earth Doctor Reese Halter, reminding you to protect our planet.